you know, 2,000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully Raw is onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. What is going on? Slightly different location. Hopefully there's no wind. And I'm sorry I'm doing this. It is so so bright. I've probably picked the wrong location to film this quick transfer video for all you people out there now. Hope everybody's okay. And I'm having a good rest of your Tuesday. Um, a lot of information come from Middlesbrough transfer wise in the last 48, 72 hours. Um, a lot of signings <laughs> could be made if we actually, you know, manage to get these players off the line. Warnock said he'd give them a week. And um, so far, we haven't heard anything back within that week. Um, you know, no, no real contracts have been signed from Marvin Johnson or George Friend. And at the moment, only one signing has come in. So, obviously, you know, that'll be in Grant Hall. We are still waiting on a few transfers, uh, along with Kiefer Moore, who's taken a little bit of time to make a decision on his future. I have written down a fair few, the first one being club favourite um, for probably all his career at Middlesbrough, George Friend. Could be departing. Um, no real sort of um, context on his Buddha future. No real sort of contract being signed on that part. It was given to him over about a week and a half ago. Uh, I'm not saying that he's you know stalling it. I'm just saying that you know so far we haven't heard any sort of news on that. What I have heard today is that Nottingham Forest are interested. Birmingham City, of course, Aitor Karanka is interested, and so too Swansea City. Um, but I have offered him a new contract. Of course, it is on reduced terms. That being said, um, you know, if he doesn't want to sign the reduced terms, then of course you probably have full terms at the likes of Nottingham Forest, Swansea City, and of course Birmingham City. Now, Aitor Cranker at Birmingham could lure him in there. Um, you know, you know, he might want to play under Aitor again. Um, who honestly knows this information? We don't as yet, but I guess that is what it is. Um, but I say, you know, if he does go, we lose a massive player from the dressing room, and you know, a fans' favourite departs. Now, hopefully, George does sign the contract, but you know, we'll wait and see what happens there. Kiefer Amo, of course, I've already spoken about. Uh, Cardiff obviously interested in him, but also I don't personally think we should go for him. Uh, but at the same time, I guess he could be a bit of a backup striker um, to Britton Fletcher. Although I don't think he's any better than what we do. Got I do think that Fletcher and Britton Samuelong are better than him. But then again, as I say, you know, if one of them does get injured, Kiefer Amo is there to obviously replace him. But at the same time, you know, if he does sign, then of course you know I'll give him his due. Um, you know, I'll back him as a player. You know, put on the Buddha shirt. You know, we'll see exactly how he gets on. The next one is a winger from Ipswich Town, Gawion Edwards. 27 years old. He transferred then 2018 from Peterborough for 700k. Um, he's in his last year of his contract. I don't know how much he'd go for, but going for 700k, surely he won't be worth anything more than probably a million if that's how much he does end up going for. Um, for me, looking at it, Borough interested, Sunderland interested, and Luton Town are all interested in Guion Edwards. Um, and as I say, you know, he's a decent winger at Ipswich, you know what I mean? He isn't a bad winger. Um, so be interested to see what happens there. And the very last one, of course, uh, Charlie Goody from Northampton Town, but I had a bid rejected for 500k. And as I say, you know, we have made an improved offer now for Charlie Goody. Fantastic defender. I know he plays in League One, but listen, he's a club captain. He's a very, very, very good defender. Um, so be interested to see what happens there with him. And, uh, you know, going from there, really. Overall, you know, there is still a lot of players that Borat are interested in as well. As Marvin Johnson not actually signing his new contract yet. Same again. You know, it's all going to be on reduced terms. So that's probably why we can't sort of agree terms straight away with Kiefer Moore. Um, you know, the budget of Borat this season is very low. Um, I guess there isn't a lot of money coming in. And, uh, you know, I guess we have to sell a bit as well. I mean, if George Friend is to depart, as sad as it will be for many fans, at least that does clear up a little bit for the wage bill. And, uh, you know, hopefully agree some terms with, you know, other players. But, of course, as always, you know, I keep you updated. And, but like I say, if anything else happens throughout the transfer market, of course, I will bring you the news. And me and George will be live next Tuesday for the Butter Show. Unfortunately, not one this week. It's a busy week. My dad's birthday tomorrow. He turns 50. So tomorrow, as always, inside the comment section. And also on his Instagram, Andy Power Tate. Go to his most recent Instagram picture and go and wish him happy birthday for tomorrow, people. Go and make his day a big 5 or Take care of yourself. Have a good rest of your Tuesday and I'll see you soon. Peace out.